Welcome back, this is Paracus, and we're going over the uh, the Rust Magma API. We're going to start off with some uh, some simple JavaScript before we jump into the to the actual Rust modding. So in this tutorial I want to go over some of the very very basic uh, concepts of programming. If, if, you, um, if you have some programming experience you probably need to go ahead and skip over this one. We're going to go over variable strings and output some of the simple math functions and we're also going to go over how to make our own functions. So just to start um, I'm going to make a simple variable. I'm going to set it to a string. Okay, so what I've done here is I've declared a variable A and I've set it to a string, right? This is the standard syntax and you always end your uh, your statements with a semicolon. If you're wondering about this, the script and the script tags pretty much, that's um, that's because it's trying to run through HTML. We won't be using HTML with uh, with our Rust um, our Rust plugins, we're gonna. It's, it's a whole different way of doing that. But essentially, if you have uh, this right here, that's gonna be a comment, so you can make notes. Right, and I made a note to myself that we're gonna be covering these uh, few topics here. So um, you probably have heard of Hello World. It's uh, just the first program that people usually go through. And you can um, in in JavaScript, you can do document dot write, and that will write um, passing a as a as a uh, Argument through this will output hello world to the screen. So let's go ahead and run this. As you can see, hello world. So, I mean, I don't really know how to explain this any more than it already is. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you can look and see, um, that's your variable name. You declare the variable that it's going to be a variable. You put it equal to to tell it that you're going to put this this um, string hello world into the, this variable a. Then you just output it to the screen. So that's that's the first thing. Very simple. We also can set it set um, variables to numbers as well. So we'll do ten. And we'll do another variable y as uh, as a five. And you also can do math. Simple math. So you can do x plus y. Oh, actually, let's do a document. Or we can do I like this. Var um, sum is equal to ten plus five. I mean x plus y. And we can write that out to the screen. Document not write sum. Let's run the code, and it's 15. You know, we see it's running through um, through HTML. You probably can do a simple line break. Uh, I should have should have remembered this before. I'm not that familiar with using JavaScript or. Um, with with uh, HTML, I haven't really done too much of that. But yeah, that works. Uh, be it, don't let that confuse you. I just added the string uh, line break, so we can just easier format. But yeah, I should have <laughs> should have thought about that beforehand. But anyways, that's just making it look better. So anyway, so we've gone over strings. These are integers. Um, just very simple variable types. We've we went over output, which you can do with document write. We won't be using that in the uh, the Rust mod or the Rust and Rust modding, but just for for now, um, document .write is how you output um, text to the screen. So let's do something like this. Um, actually, math. I haven't. No, I haven't looked at. That. Okay, we can do uh, ten point five, and we will sum. We can do sum. It's equal to math dot. Uh, what was it? Let's see here. Can't remember the exact thing, and I don't want to mess up. I think it's math dot. Yeah, math dot round. Okay. That's gonna be uh, everything. Always make sure you look at the uh, the spelling. Get yeah, everything's case sensitive. Dot round. So, and as you can expect, this will um, round 10.5 up to 11. So let's do that. So it's 16 now, right? So we did it's 15.5. Uh, math that round makes it 16. And there's a lot of useful math uh, functions you can use too. So when I, when I talk about functions, um, functions you just declare them as a function and you name them. We'll do um, sum. We'll pass in two arguments, and this may be a little too soon for you guys, but hopefully not. Okay, so what this is going to do is, 
ignore all that up there for now. You're, pretty much what you're doing is, and I'll, I'll call it right here. Um, sum, we'll pass in x and y. And what we do here is it, um, we're, t we're taking sum, we can go ahead and um, delete all this. What we're going to do is, and this is, you use functions when you want to, um, if you want to do a task over and over, right? And you don't want to have to re rewrite the code over and over. Functions save you a lot of time when it comes to that. So what you do is you you, um, you declare a function, you tell it what arguments and how many arguments you want to pass through it. So in this case we did two. In this in this case we also did uh, x and y. And we passed it through there. So just imagine these two numbers going here, then these being passed through here, and then inside of here we can do document dot write x plus y, and hopefully this will work. Yeah, and just like last time. Okay, 15 point. Ah, uh, okay, it's acting up. Anyways, we can just. Backspace on that. Okay, 15.5. And that's the sum, right? X plus Y. So, and we also can do this right here. We can also do, we can hard, hard, hard write the numbers out, like, uh, or hand write them. 10, and we'll do 20. So 10, we put in 10, 20, those turn into X and Y. And let's delete that. We're in code, 30, right? So 10 and 20 is 30. So that's it. Well, this is I've covered variables, strings, ints, output, math, and functions. So um, I covered it pretty quickly. You may want to go to some other websites to learn the basics, like Code Academy. There's also some good other YouTube videos on JavaScript. I mean, there's you have tons of options. So this is all I'm going to do for for basic JavaScript. Um, I'll explain, you know, the more advanced concepts when we do some um, Rust modding. But I just wanted to hurry up and get this uh, the boring stuff out of the way. So um, thanks for watching, and hopefully I haven't lost you by now. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.